President Obama has a stark warning to world leaders gathering in Toronto. Withdraw stimulus too fast and risk another global recession. But with the total U.S. national debt spiking to over $13 trillion, the pressure's on Washington to get a credible deficit-cutting plan on the table. Just tell Michael. David Walker, head of the Peter G. Peterson Foundation, a fiscal policy group, is one of the leading proponents of deficit reduction in the United States. He says stimulus may be needed now, but that massive future spending obligations necessitate belt tightening soon. As of September 30, 2009, the U.S. government was in a $62 trillion hole. We need to start to take steps to deal with the true threat to America's and our family's future. And that represents the structural deficits that will exist after the economy is recovered, after the wars are over, after unemployment is down, and long after the crises have passed. Do Americans have the will to try to address those those longer-term issues? We've seen what, what's happened in Europe when you try to tackle pension and, and, and health benefits. The American people will respond when they have the facts, when they know the truth, uh, and when they understand that uh, tough choices are inevitable. We don't have an option. Uh, they will respond. The problem is, is that they don't get the truth. They don't get the facts. And the biggest deficit that this country has right now is a leadership deficit. To try to fill the void and promote a national dialogue on fiscal austerity, the Peterson Organization is helping sponsor a 19-city town hall meeting across the United States this weekend. It seems if we're going to turn this ship, and you talk about overspending and overpromising, ultimately it's going to come down to an individual level. And we are a nation that seems addicted to consuming and to overspending. You know, we blew out our own balance sheets. Can we change our ways? We clearly have a cultural challenge. We need to recognize that we need to live within our means. Uh, and ultimately, you cannot spend much more money than you take in. Uh, and, and pile on more and more debt without having some type of adverse consequences. There's a risk that you could end up having a sudden crisis of confidence whereby interest rates would increase dramatically, where the dollar could end up falling dramatically. Uh, and frankly, that would cause something much worse than a recession that would not just be confined to the United States. How much time do you think we have? I believe that uh, we need to do something concrete no later than 2011. That's a tall order. It's a tall order, but it's a tough job. And somebody's got to do it, and we might as well get started now. The debt clock is ticking. David Walker says it's time to get to work. Uh, Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.